writing articles, making YouTube videos, coaching people, Shopify, Shopify stores, revenue ads, Facebook videos, sponsorships, one cleaning, cleaning brand, selling courses, affiliate marketing, podcasts. As I said, there's a million ways to make a million dollars. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to make money online. And I'm gonna preface it by saying this, I have nothing to sell you. Normally, if you hear people talking on podcasts or on YouTube videos or on Facebook about how to make money online, they usually have something to sell you. Uh, I'm just gonna warn you with that. I have nothing to sell you. I just want to, if you know anything about me, I hate that people are stuck in the rat race and I hate that people are wasting their lives at a job that they hate. So if they can break out of that rat race and make money through some other for form, whether that's online or whether that's doing something else, as long as it's something that they love to do, I am a massive proponent of breaking as many people free from that rat race as I possibly can. And so I remember years ago, probably... I probably started on the journey of trying to figure out how to make money online about six, maybe seven years ago. Actually, probably eight years ago. Actually, about eight years ago, 2012, I uh, quit my job and I went and backpacked Europe for, for three months by myself. And at that point in time, I thought to myself, there's got to be ways to make money online. So I started researching it, kind of getting into it, but I never actually really figured it out. And uh, so I tried to make money different ways and tried to make money different ways, tried to give mo make money different ways. And so I wanted to make this episode so that we can talk about how there are different ways to make money online. As I always say to people, there's a million ways to make a million dollars. Uh, people always think there's these limited ways to make a million dollars to become successful or even to be able to just make six figures. People think there's only a few ways to do it. There's millions and millions and millions of ways. So I'm not going to give you a direct answer of like, this is exactly how you make money, but I'm going to give you a ton of suggestions because I've been in this space for, you know, about five years now and I've seen many, many, many ways to make money online. And so I want to kind of crack your mind open and allow you to take some notes and allow you to go, man, I want to research this. I want to Google that. Because ultimately, if you start to figure out what it is that you want to do, and, uh, and that starts to get you a couple dollars online, $5, $20, $100, $1, $1,000 a month, then you're going to start diving deeper into it and deeper into it. And as you get better at something, you make more money at it. And eventually you could probably replace your income with your salary or, you know, day job that you have now. Uh, so the problem that most people have and why it's so hard for people to make money online is because the majority of us were raised by people who don't make money online, right? Like my mom was a, a, a realtor. She drove trucks. She did a bunch of different things to make money. And so I always have this pair had this paradigm of, you know, you got to go into work to make money. And when you have that paradigm, it makes it really hard to break out of that to go, I'm going to make money online. I'm going to figure out different ways to make money online because the internet really wasn't a thing. I didn't even have a computer until we were, I was probably 14 years old, right? So when you look at that, you realize that I was raised under an umbrella of you've got to go to work to make money. Also, a part of that means that time equals money. The, if I want to make more money, I'm going to have to put more time in. And what you tend to realize is at the beginning of starting a business online, that is true. Uh, but as you get better and better and better, it's actually less time and more money, which for most people, especially me, my paradigm was like, I have to work. I've got to go put in work and work and work. I am a recovering uh, work addictive person. Like I was addicted to working. I used to work 110 hours a week when I was 21 years old, when I ran my first office with a, a marketing company. So so you have to realize the first part of breaking through and making money online is getting past the paradigm of, is it even possible? Getting past the paradigm of, in order for me to make more money, I have to work more. Because a lot of people really hold themselves back from making more money because they've got a family. And they, if they equate, if I'm going to make more money, it's going to require more time. They'll never work harder and start that business because they think it's going to take time away from their family. And so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing I want to tell you is this, is that we are raised in a school system that is designed to create workers. Really, it's not designed to create entrepreneurs or to create scientists or to create um, people who think outside of the box. It's very much 
designed you do what you're supposed to do you sit inside of this box for the allotted amount of time when the bell goes off then you can ring if you want to talk you've got to raise your hand if you want to go out and go to the bathroom you've got to raise your hand there's one person that's in control of the entire room and you have to listen to them they're the one that's in charge and so it's really designed to create factory workers and then what happened is then we started creating universities and then we what happened was the the next thing is you've got to go to school right like if you don't go to in, in america people always say like if you don't go to school like what are you doing if you don't go to college what the hell are you doing like i am a college dropout right so at the point in time when i dropped out people were like what the hell are you doing that doesn't make any sense you've got to be successful you've got to go and go to college and, and the only reason why you go to college is to what not to be an entrepreneur is to get a job and so we're raised in this paradigm by our parents because usually just by our parents, that's the way that they were raised because their parents had to go to work. So we're raised that number one, we have to go to work. We're raised number two, that we have to go and get an education. So we're raised by our parents and our education system to be workers most of the time. Um, so let's dive into the different ways to make money online because I wanna dive into that first because what really holds people back from making money online it's literally the fact that they don't even believe it's possible because of the way that they're raised by their parents and also the way that they were educated. So let me talk about all the different ways that I've met people and friends that I have and how they make money online. As I said, there's a million ways to make a million dollars. I have front friends that run Facebook ads. So literally they just specialize. I have friends that make millions of dollars just specializing on running Facebook ads for other people and other businesses. Their only job is just to master Facebook ads. I have a friend that literally makes about $17 million a year just running other people's Facebook ads. This is a real thing. Another way that you can make money online, writing articles for people. There's a lot of people that hate writing, myself included. People will pay other people to be freelance writers for them. Another way to make money online, making YouTube videos. Now, the thing I'm going to say is this, is you're not going to make a ton of money with YouTube videos until you actually grow a following. Uh, but one of the guys that I follow on YouTube, he literally shows you how much he makes. And he's got about 2.3 million people that follow him right now. He makes about three to $400,000 a month just off of the ads on his YouTube. And he teaches finance to people. He teaches how to save more money, teaches about credit cards, teaches about housing, all of those things. Do you have any specialty in that? Well, guess what? If you were to really get focused on it, you could possibly make money teaching people that. You can make money coaching, consulting. I'm sure you have some form of a specialty. You can make money coaching people online, whatever your actual specialty is. You can make money setting up a Shopify store. So you can set up a Shopify website to sell products, whether your products or somebody else's products. You can be the third party person and you can make a bunch of money doing it that way. You can set up an Etsy store if you want to. You could set up both of them if you want. Etsy, if you create things by hand, if you make jewelry, if you do bracelets, if you do, I mean, anything creative, painting, you can sell on Etsy. How else can you make money? Facebook ad revenue. If you put videos up on Facebook, you know, if you're putting videos up on YouTube, number one, you're going to get paid off of that ad revenue. You could also take those videos and put up on Facebook. If videos go viral, what happens is Facebook will place ads inside of your videos and then pay you 55% of how much that entire thing generates. Uh, I have friends that make millions and millions of dollars just by putting videos up on Facebook. Yes, this is a real thing. Millions of dollars off of putting videos up on Facebook. I know one person that makes over a million dollars a month by creating viral videos and putting them up on Facebook. Uh, you can also do sponsorships. If you grow a following, if you grow a social media following, you've heard of influencers. If you have an Instagram following, a Facebook following, a YouTube following, companies will pay to sponsor you. If you have a podcast with a good amount of listeners, people will pay to have you talk about their company, right? You could start a clothing brand and you could sell you know, certain funny shirts if you want to and put that up on Shopify and sell them through Facebook ads or put them up on Etsy. You could teach uh, people any any specialty that you have, you could sell courses. Like I literally, if you, I've, I've met people that sell courses of so many different random things you could possibly think of. How to get better at doing jump ropes. How to get better at, uh, the, the weirdest one that I've ever found was a guy that played, uh, I met him at a networking event and he played a really rare, um, it, it was like a French, 
flute or something like that. I don't even know what it was, but he played a really rare one and he literally taught people. He was one of the best in the world at this instrument. And he had this really small but hardcore following and he taught them how to play this flute or this trombone or whatever the hell it was. I never even actually saw it. He just explained it to me. And he made a few thousand dollars a month just teaching that to his small following that he had, right? So there's ways to make money that way. You could do affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing means you sell other people's products. So whether you get really good at Facebook ads and you start selling other people's products, or you happen to grow your own following and you start putting more eyes onto other people's stuff. So you could do affiliate marketing. You could do podcasting. Uh, you could write other people's emails. There's a lot of, I have friends that make tons and tons of money as copywriters. They get really good at how to sell through the written word. And then they actually do copywriting on websites for people. And they also do copywriting through emails from people. And then they get a percentage of every single sale that comes in. You can get really good at copywriting if you want to. Um, there's friends that I have that make millions of dollars selling supplements. That's actually, I know a lot of people that make, I don't know, probably about 10 people that make uh, a few million dollars a year just selling supplements online. Uh, like I said, you could do jumping courses. I know people who have done harmonica courses, uh, like uh, jumping courses, as far as like jumping to dunk in a, like basketballs, uh, jump rope. Uh, you could sell on Amazon. I have friends that make millions of dollars on Amazon as well. These are all just people that I've met through networking. Like I just went out and I was like, wait, you make money this way? You make, how the hell do you make money doing this? Right? And I don't do any of these, but there's many ways to, I'll tell you how I make money online or one of the ways to make money online in a minute. But you know, there's, there's many, many ways of people that I've met who, who make money doing this. Selling on Amazon. Um, I know people have sold their companies for $15 million on Amazon. They created their own brands. They started selling them on Amazon. They started making money that work. Uh, there's friends I, I know that make money freelancing. They go on upwork.com. Literally, if you have a specialty that people want, whether that's building websites or writing emails or you know recording videos or editing videos or editing music, you can literally go on right now to upwork.com, U-P-W-R-K.com, and you can literally put your services up there as a freelancer and people can hire you off of the internet to do X, Y, Z, whatever it is that you do. So there's freelancing, um, social media management, where you can run other people's social medias and you can grow their followings if that's something that you wanted to do. Uh, YouTube, I mentioned, you can put videos up on YouTube, make money that way. You can write Kindle books. I know people that make a bunch of money by finding a specific topic and they research the hell out of that topic. And then they take that topic and put it into like a 50 page Kindle book. They sell it for $4.99, but it's such a hot topic that it just goes through and they make a ton of money doing it. So you can literally write books in Kindle if you wanted to. You could do consulting if there's some consulting that that you're, like I said, that you have a specialty of and you could teach people whatever that thing is. Hey, if you're liking this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up down below. Hit that like button so that it spikes the YouTube algorithm and more people can see videos like this. There's literally a million ways to make a million. Like I could talk all day long of all of these different people. One of the very first people, the very first networking event that I went to, um, that was around what they call internet marketing, making money on the internet. I met a guy who was one of the shyest people I've ever met. And um, he was running Facebook ads and he was telling me about what he does. And he, he wasn't looking me in the eyes. He was very soft spoken. And um, we had a conversation. He told me what he did and he told me what he did and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Well, then go and get into another conversation with another person who I knew that was at this networking event. And he's like, oh man, you were just talking to, you know, this guy. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, do you know how much money that guy makes? And I was like, no, he goes, he makes about a million dollars a month running Facebook ads for people. And I was like, I'm sorry. He he like profits a million dollars a month or like his business like generates a million dollars in revenue. And then that goes into product sales and all those things. He goes, no, he profits around a million dollars every single month. And this was the shyest person. And, and I was like, I'm very competitive. And I was like, dude, if that guy can do it, I can do it. And it's nothing against him, but it's just my competitive nature going, well, dude, you could do it too. And so I started getting into it and researching and I started going to as many events as possible because people are like, well, how do you know these people that do all of these crazy things? I just go to events and go to events and go to events. Now, I personally hate, I honestly, honestly hate networking. I think it's awkward. But what happened was I started networking and what I always say is there's, when I go to a networking event, there's usually about 95% of the people 
are kind of a little bit weird. They want to give you their business cards. They want to talk to you about things that don't really matter. They're trying to sell you their services. About 5% of the people are really badass. And those are the people that you want to find. And so when I go to a networking event, my only goal is to find one person who I really truly connect with and go get coffee with them the next few days after that and see if we can develop a friendship and get to know each other. Um, by doing that, I've met people who are incredible. And then I've gotten from those people that I've met that are incredible, they have friends that are incredible as well. So that's how I kind of developed my network of people who are in this industry and, and you know, people who have sold 10, 20, 50, $60 million in products online. I have friends that literally their companies do over $100 million every single year. And it's not me trying to brag in any sort of way because it's not my company that's doing $100 million a year, but it's me telling you the only way that I met those people was by going to networking event and networking event and networking event. There's an event here in Austin that's called Internet Marketing Party. Every single month, I went to that every single month for years. Um, going to events, right? So I'm going to give you some, some events that I recommend that you check out. Uh, trafficking Conversions is a big event that happens usually in February or March in San Diego every single year. Trafficking Conversions is like 5,000 people. And uh, they teach you all kinds of different ways to make money online. Uh, so Trafficking Conversions is great. Funnel Hackers Live is another one that's put on by ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels makes landing pages. Um, so those are the two that, I, that I've personally been to and, and are the best that I know of and highly recommend. There's another one if you're into social media called Social Media Examiner. Um, they have an event that happens every single year, I think in San Diego as well, uh, that you might be interested in. Uh, going to webinars, there's a ton and a ton, a ton of really smart people that have webinars. And I'm going to warn you, when you go to a webinar, there's a pretty good chance that person's going to try to sell you on buying a product at the end. But I've been to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of webinars just to see what people do, just to get an idea, get see if I can steal something and be like, oh, I really like the way they said that. I really like this thing. So I go to, you know, events. I go to networking events. I go to uh, webinars, all of these ways to learn. And what I realize is that sometimes when you really find what it is you want to do, you got to spend money to make money. Like there might be a course of someone telling you exactly how they did it. And if that's what you truly want to do, I recommend just spending the money and learning from them if they seem like they're legit and they seem like they're, they're actually doing what they say they do. Or you could spend the next five years trying to figure it out. Right. So I always recommend just spend the money on the course. And I've spent a lot of money on courses, a lot of money on mentorships and a lot of money. Usually my budget is around one hundred thousand dollars a year just on mentorship and just on my uh, masterminds that I join in networking events to be around people who are incredible and in growing their businesses. And I know you might not be at that point yet, but you could go and spend a thousand dollars and go to a massive event and connect with some really incredible people and start to get better from there. Uh, what I will say is this, is it's very addicting, right? Once you make that first dollar online, your life is different forever. That's the important thing to realize. Once you make that first dollar online, I remember my very first time that I made a dollar online, I'm going to tell you the story to, uh, to kind of give you some inspiration so you can think about it. So um, when I first started this podcast, um, I there was somebody that said, hey, listen, did you know that it seems like your people probably read books, they probably listen to audiobooks. If you go to audible.com, you can actually get us a, a link and if people sign up for free for Audible for 30 day trial, Amazon will actually pay you because Amazon owns Audible. Amazon will actually pay you $15 for people to sign up for free. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And so whenever I would talk about a book, I would say, hey, if you want to go ahead and sign up for Amazon, just go to this website and it would put my link in there and they would sign up for free, it cost them absolutely nothing to try it out for 30 days. And I got paid $15 because obviously Amazon has some sort of statistics on how many that do free trials become, you know, how much that customer's worth to them. So they'll pay $15. And I woke up one morning, I put a podcast out, you know, whatever. Then I woke up one morning and I had made $15 while I was asleep. And I was like, oh my God, I got paid while I was sleeping. And for somebody who was raised by a mother who worked one, two, three jobs at a time sometimes, to, to, to instead of having to go to work, to make money. I made money when I was asleep. And I was like, what in the hell is this world? I was addicted. I was like, I got to learn more about this. I want to learn more. And it's crazy to think that was only about four years ago. And in the past four years, after really getting obsessed with these things, my company's brought in about four or $5 million in sales uh, because I became obsessed with it. But I went from the paradigm of having to work my tail off to make money to learning that you don't have to work, you just have to really understand and master what it is that you do.
And so if you're out there and you're like, you know what? I need to figure out how to make money online. Listen to this over and over and over again. Go through every single bullet point that I said, all of the different ways to make money. I literally wrote all of them down right here. Running Facebooks, uh, Facebook ads, writing articles, making YouTube videos, coaching people, Shopify stores, Etsy stores, revenue ad from Facebook videos, sponsorships, run clothing, cor- uh, clothing brands, selling courses, affiliate marketing, podcasting, writing emails, selling supplements, Courses on harmonica, jump rope, jumping, selling on Amazon, freelance on Upwork, social media management, YouTube, writing Kindle books, consulting, freelancing. How I make money is is I was able to build a, a really large coaching business, also a really large following, and was able to figure out how to build a really large coaching business from a following. So I teach coaches literally how to make money online. So I teach uh, fitness coaches, life coaches, wellness coaches, nutrition coaches, couples coaches, mindset coach, mindfulness, meditation, anybody that's a coach, I can teach them how to grow their business online. And so that's what I do. But you might want to do that or you might do something completely different. It doesn't matter. As long as you find out what you want to do and you go hardcore into whatever that thing is. Because if you have a family and you have children, wouldn't it be nice just to be able to hang out with them most of the day take them to school, do whatever it is you need to do and make money doing it or to wake up and actually have money in your bank account. That is an opportunity that is 100% real. You just have to get past the paradigm of it not being real and then go hardcore into research like I did. Figure out what it is that you want to do. Go to as many network events you possibly can. Connect with people, meet people. And eventually it might be two, three, four, five, six, seven years down the road you will have realized that you found your own little niche of something that you love and you're making more money you thought possible, working way less than you thought possible, spending more time with the people that you love and maybe even traveling the world, which is a cool thing as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. How many lives have not been impacted because you haven't started yet? How many lives could you impact? How many people need to hear your message?